Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, today I am truly happy the Luba finally arrived. It is not snake oil. Normally I don't trust Kickstarters, but I saw this and I just had to take a chance on it. And look at this, the company came through. So y'all know me, I've reviewed electric lawnmowers. I reviewed other robotic lawnmowers. I've reviewed robotic vacuums. I just love technology, I'm kind of a big nerd. So I couldn't resist myself when I saw a new robot lawnmower and this one says you don't have to bury that long perimeter wire. If you remember my previous video about the robo mower and how much work it was to install it just on one quarter of my parents yard, I'll link all these videos I'm talking about below in the description by the way if you want to watch. It took all day just to set up the robo mower to mow less than a quarter of my parents' property. So my plans for this, we are going to torture it. They have, now if you remember my parents' property, it's three acres and it has a lot of tree coverage. So that's going to really put this RTK system to the test to see if tree coverage will keep it from being able to mow. Luba is one of the first consumer grade RTK boundaryless robot lawn mowing systems and I'm gonna put it to a test. We're gonna torture it on three acres at my parents house but before I can do those fun videos we got to do the standard YouTube unboxing video and just see what this thing is all about and how it comes to you when you order it. So let's get this thing opened up and see what's going on. Alright guys so I'm trying to decide the best way to film this as a one-man show here. I'm just going to go handheld with the wide angle. Uh, probably not a good choice, but you know what? Um, at least y'all will get to see what I see. So we're going to go ahead and start. Actually, let's uh, go over what this is here. So we're about to open up the Luba perimeter-free robot lawnmower. No perimeter cable. Mow up to 1.2 acres daily. Now we're going to certainly test that because my parents' property is three acres. 75 degree slope. It has an app. Obstacle avoidance. Multiple zone management. Automatic recharging. IP6 waterproof. So let's go ahead and open this thing and see what's going on inside. Okay, y'all. Don't make fun of the size of my knife. Just because it's small doesn't mean it can't cut. Put that away so I don't hurt myself. I'm not certified to handle knives. All right. Had to conceal my address here on this paperwork. But you can see by looking at this paper here, I ordered this on the 7th of June last year. Holy moly, that's been a while. 7th of June. So you can see here on the item description, I get an extra set of blades, a mini Luba, a backpack, a 10 meter extension cord for the RTK and we actually will need that because I'm going to mount it to the top of my parents roof since their property is so large and has trees and we get an extra three sets of blades so I'm gonna have four sets of blades total and then down here thank you for your order from Shenzhen China okay let's get into the fun stuff so this first thing in here is just a set of instructions, a quick start guide. It shows you all the pieces down here in the corner and then how to set up your base station, how to set up the RTK antenna, and uh, finally where the power switch is. So I put my camera on a tripod. We'll see how that works there. Hopefully uh, it's in a good spot. I did turn the box around here. So first thing I see is the little mini Luba. So I wanna check that out and see how cool that is or not. <laughs> That's cool. It's just a... Wow. That's actually cast metal, I think. This actually looks like it might be uh, cast metal. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's find something metal and see if it's metal. 
Uh, what do we got here? Um, oh, dang. It scratches easy. <laughs> I already put scratches on it. I don't know. I'm... I think that may be metal. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see what else we got here. So these are some stickers you can put on your robot to spice it up. Give it a little flair, make it a little fun. So we'll set those aside. What do we got here? There's little presents everywhere. Maybe this is the key. This might be the key to make it work. Remember, this is just an unboxing. I don't really know anything about it yet. What do we got here? Um, looks like... My guess would be a bumper. Since it's uh, flat and it kind of depresses, I'm going to guess that is the bumper. Now, most of this is plastic, but this metal, there's a connection here that's metal. So I guess we'll see how that holds up over the long term. But I guess, you know, it is modular. So if this breaks, you don't have to replace the whole mower. Let's dig over here. What do we got here? Oh, this is uh, this is an antenna. It's part of the uh, RTK system. 915 megahertz. Oh, you know what? I'm already running something that's 915 megahertz at this property. So we may, it'll be interesting to see if it interferes or not. So if you remember, I did these uh, hotspots to uh, mine helium tokens and they operate on 915 megahertz. I kind of knew that, that the RTK used 915 megahertz, but I didn't connect that until I read on that antenna. You'll never see it on this camera, but it says 915 right there. This is like one of those nesting dolls. The more you dig, the more you find. Over here in this corner, y'all can't even see it. Let me pan you over here. Over here in this corner here, there's another little mystery box. So I pulled out this box. It's not so little. Accessory Kit C. So let's find out what Accessory Kit C is. Hmm. That looks like a stake to me. It's got a pointy end and then a screw. I bet this uh, has to do with those poles back there. We'll find out in just a minute. Oh, so here is our carrying case. Now, I don't know if this is a carrying case for the mower. Oh no, obviously not. Much too small. This is just a, a bag with their logo on it that you can use personally. But hey, that's kind of cool. Nice drawstring bag. Got a little logo on it. Kind of a, a thank you for having faith in them to do the Kickstarter. All right, so let's get these poles out of here. So this is part of the, the RTK setup. These will uh, screw into each other this way. And that helps give uh, some height to the RTK antenna. What else we got in here? Uh, what do we got? Accessory kit A. Accessory kit A is your... Okay, you got some spikes to hold down your base station and some various mounting hardware, some screws. And then you got your big old power brick. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that. It is uh, 25.2 volts at 7 amps. We got the North American end here on one side and then looks like some kind of proprietary end on the other. 
accessory kit B. What do y'all think it's going to be? Ha, B, get it? I know I'm corny. Oh, here we go. Here is all our blades. This would be our three sets. Oh, that case has come open, so they're spilling out. I'll have to fix that later. Here is uh, one set of blades and the screws that go with it. And then there is another package in here that has three sets of blades and the screws to install them. Now, if you've seen my other robot lawnmower videos, uh, this is a common setup to use these double-sided razor blades. So, saying that, it's likely that it will be easy to find generic replacements. Just saying. Now, I'm not suggesting that. Uh, of course, you should probably consider getting the name brand ones, but just putting that out there, this is a standard design here. And I've already cut myself here on this razor blade. So some of the other cables and accessory kit B is um, just a, I don't know. We got another small cable. And we got a larger extension cable. Probably a power extension cable because this end looks like the power end. Okay, it looks like we got one more little box here to open before we get to the fun stuff. 10 meter RTK antenna extension kit. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, and it has its own little power supply here and it has an extra 10 meters of cable. So we got power supply, 10 meters of cable, and some screws. Looks like I've got all the little cubbies here. Let's go ahead for the main event. Whoop, this RTK unit is separate here. So we'll look at that first. Part of the brains here that makes the whole thing work, you've heard me say RTK about 4,000 times since we've started this unboxing. Basically, what RTK is, is just a fancy, very accurate GPS. So this will mount on a wall like that. In this top part, there's a GPS antenna. And in this bottom part, 900 megahertz antenna, plugs in like this. And then that's on a wall, and this receives very accurate GPS, and this talks to the robot lawnmower. So the robot lawnmower has a GPS built into it, and it compares to this GPS and does some fancy triangulation, and it can get to centimeter level accuracy. So that's why you don't need a perimeter, because this thing knows exactly where it is because of this RTK setup. So here is part of the pole mounting kit for the RTK. We'll set this aside. And we are finally to the main event. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. Oh my goodness, that's very heavy. Let's see, how do I want to do that? Can we just lift the lawnmower out first? Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, y'all. <laughs> Crazy postman didn't eat his Wheaties this morning. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Just go for it. Oh, just go for it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, whew. nobody's going to steal that thing <laughs> and get away very fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so there is still a little bit in here. There is the uh, base station and a whole bunch of this stuff that says uh, don't eat. So first let's take a little closer look at this base station. So here you have pretty standard looking robot lawnmower base station. It looks like there's the charging pins and there's probably a little IR sensor here that helps it find the charger once it gets close. It does have the place for the pole 
that's where you'll put the RTK pole. If you're not using the extension, you'll just mount it right to the charging base and it'll hang above it uh, six feet or five feet or however long those poles are. IPX5. That should mean it's good for uh, rain, but definitely don't submerge it. There's some connections here in the back. Looks like uh, power from for the main power and probably power for the RTK unit. So there's the base station. Here's what everybody's been waiting for. Let's get this thing out of here. Oh my goodness. It is so heavy, guys. Maybe I can drive it out. <laughs> That's how you do it. You got to drive it out. Then you don't have to lift it, lift it up. All right, so here's the main event. What everybody's been waiting for, the Luba robot lawnmower. Looks like we got an emergency stop button here on top, a power button, a start button, home and cut. We'll have to we'll have to read the instructions to know what all these do. We got the uh, label here. I'm not sure if I should show the serial number. I don't know, but you can see the model, the manufacturer, the device name, and serial number right there. Then moving around to the back, you got Luba branding everywhere. And we got the keyhole slot. That's the slot for the key to go in. And then you got a SIM card and a USB-C plug. Down a little lower, we got our charging pins and that IR window so it can help it back up to the right place. Oh, we got a little warning logo over here. More Luba branding on the axle. And they have uh, more branding on the tire. We may have to uh, count how many times the brand name is on here. Luba or the company name. We got a bumper on the side. An active bumper. And then we just got a protective bumper. A little lower. Can you all see that? We got the, the active bumper and then the protective bumper. Of course, it says Luba. Another good front tire. Now, something I did notice already. So, here's the front. And it's obviously missing the bumper. That's something I'm going to have to install here in a minute. But something I did notice. This suspension, they said it was like active suspension that would help it go over the bumps and such but to tell you the truth just sitting under its own weight it's already bottomed out see that suspension isn't doing anything i can lift up on it but just sitting underneath its own weight it's bottomed out i can lift up on it and it has suspension but if it's just in an idle position it's uh, sitting on the very bottom of the spring. But that's basically it. Oh, we still need to look at the bottom. We haven't even looked at the business end yet. Let's flip this bad boy over. Oh my goodness. Have I mentioned it's heavy? This thing is very heavy. So, here is the business end. Interesting. It looks like there's supposed to be something there, but there's not. Maybe there's not supposed to be anything there. I don't know. But on mine, there's nothing there. It does have little covers on the... <laughs> That's neat. It really They really put some attention to detail. You know, with the, the springs and the, the covers down here. It's just unfortunate that that spring is not stronger. Because it just, uh, it just bottoms out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's doing what it's supposed to, and I just don't understand how it works. Remember, this is just an unboxing, and I don't know what I'm doing yet. Now, looking down here, this is kind of just the standard robot lawn mowing mower deck. Uh, this one has four blades, and they spin freely. I can't really show you with one hand. 
So this whole contraption spins, and when the centrifugal force is going, it will spin these blades around, and they will be facing out. But if they hit something hard, instead of breaking the blade, they just fold back in. No big deal. That's actually nothing unique to the Luba. Other robot lawnmowers have been using this design for years. But uh, why reinvent the wheel if somebody's already invented a great wheel? Just go ahead and use it. <laughs> this is kind of a solid axle design. Maybe, maybe that is a good suspension. Maybe I'm going to need to apologize to Luba for making fun of its suspension. But the undercarriage here definitely looks pretty heavy. Uh, a lot of metal pieces. Uh, this is plastic. I think. Not sure. But there is quite a few metal pieces on this. I'm pretty confident this is going to be able to hold up for two, three, four seasons. We're going to definitely give it a run for its money. Let's try to set it back down. Oh. See what I mean? Just setting down, its suspension is squished. I don't know. Maybe that suspension is just for when one tire falls into a hole. Not sure. We got four little sensors here along the top. That's going to help it understand its environment. These two are obviously looking forward. These are going to be looking to the side to help it avoid obstacles. Of course, uh, as a fallback method, you got the active bumper here on the sides, and you'll have an active bumper in the front. Uh, let's go ahead and try to install that front bumper and see what it looks like. So we now have the front bumper on. Uh, this is everything except the stickers. I haven't put our racing stripes on yet. I'll probably do that later. If I do it, no big deal. Nah, I'll probably do it. I mean, why not? But this is what it looks like with our bumper attached. It's just a nice flat bumper. And uh, I didn't really know what side was up. But I assumed that this light faced up, so that's the way I installed it. Of course, I haven't read any instructions yet. <laughs> so thanks for watching this unboxing video. I'm just going to end it out here in selfie mode. I don't, I don't feel like getting the other camera out. But this Luba seems like a pretty cool robot. We're going to go ahead and... Now, the upcoming videos for this, I'm pretty excited. We're going to do a setup video. We're going to do a torture test video to see how it does mowing the whole three acres. Now on the box to the Luba, it says that it should be able to do an acre and a half a day. So that should be able to cover the whole three acres at least once a week, right? So we're going to do a torture test and see what it can handle. There's also a lot of trees at their property. So we're going to have to test out that RTK, see if it has any troubles there. Now, I would super appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button for me because this is not sponsored and these things are expensive and it, it kind of takes the pressure off it not being sponsored. Now, I would never lie, but I always feel bad when I review something and I have to give it a bad review, especially if they sent it to me. But there's certainly no pressure on this one for me to make it look better than it is because... This is my money sitting right here. Now, I did email the company uh, way back in the day and say, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I'd love to review your product. It looks cool. And uh, they never got back to me. So I bought it myself. And this is going to be as true of a review as you're going to get. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to link all the videos that I talked about in the description. So you can go down there and see my other robotic lawnmower videos and my electric lawnmower videos. Maybe even some robot vacuums. I don't know what I'll link down there. But thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Uh, Roomba? Not Roomba. What's the name of that other lawnmower? Uh... Romo Geddon, Romo, Robo Mo. Ah, that's it. Homo, Homo. <laughs> what? It, I just forgot again. Robo Mo.
But this is going to be one of the first big boy boundary wireless. Is that a word? Boundaryless wire. Uh, oh my gosh. Trying to do stuff here. Everybody's calling me. Yes, my ringtone is the corn song. Luba is one of the first consumer grade RTK boundaryless. Boundaryless. Is that a word? I'm going to say it anyway. So here is part of the mole. Mole? All right, Luba, you fat ass. We're going to have to put you back up here. Mama! Ugh. Whew! All right, breather. It's got a nice, fresh china smell to it. This will spin, but each blade also...